Happy Arvo. Thank you for joining me today. What an exciting day. Where we're going to see what, you know, kind of catch up on what happened in Australia this week. I can't believe it's already been a week. Let's go. Woolworth, Woolworths. I think that's a, that's a grocery store. Rejected my leave to go scatter my father's ashes. Wow. Bold. I would expect that out of America, but Australia too. <laughs> it just says, status rejected. Shameful. That's a real arsehole move if you're requesting leave three months in advance and providing a reason like that. So you guys have to request three months in advance? Man, I mean, that's kind of the way it is here too. But I hate that. Three months in advance for just one day? Just call in sick, okay? I'm gonna say this is like a medical type of emergency. Just go ahead, call in sick. You got my approval. I work in hospitality and I've been deducted five hours of pay for mobile phone use. I single-handedly worked at the place from open to close. What? He says, is this legal? That doesn't... Um, that doesn't sound legal. Five hours of pay. So, almost an entire day that you just worked for them for free. <laughs> That's beyond. I've never even heard of anything like this in America. And the corporations here are pretty, pretty much jerks to their employees. So this is outrageous. No, I would quit. Oh, good catch here. New bottle, same price. Ah, 345 milliliters. Oops, 330 milliliters. We lost a little bit. It's kind of kind of sketchy because it looks like the exact same size bottle. I can't tell how tall it is, but same price. Ooh, man. Uh, would you rather they do that or raise the price on, the, on this bottle? That's the real question. Because you're getting screwed either way. Why do we have to buy spring onion in such large bundles? I live alone and am cooking for one. I really don't need this many stocks. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot, especially considering you just chop it up. I'm mean, One of those things is really enough for one meal. But honestly, this looks very organic. At least, you know, be thankful that you get food this organic looking. This looks like it was plucked straight out of the ground behind the grocery store. Victorian government is trialing 38 hours of free sick pay to casuals. What would a casual be on the books for two years? What's a casual? Is that like a part-time worker? So this is the government paying it. So it's not even the business. This is interesting. So the government pays the bill? That's kind of cool. And if it's for part-time workers, that's a great deal. 38 hours? Most part-time workers here in the U.S. don't get any sick leave. At least paid. Oh, this is fun. Okay, so we get the other side of the story now about the mobile phone person who got docked pay. The boss is hitting back, you know. They say there's a difference between a quick text here and there and sitting down to watch a movie. <laughs> Do we have video of this? Okay, we need to look in. We need to go deeper into this. Okay, I don't think we have video, but we do have photos. And look at that. There he is on his phone while the restaurant is completely empty. <laughs> and another photo. Ooh, look. Nobody's here. It looks sparkling clean. And he's on his phone. Wow, how dare he? He should be out there looking for work to do, okay? To be honest, I side with the guy on his phone. Uh, if there's nothing to be done, it's all clean and there's nobody there, who cares what you're doing? And trust me, if he wasn't being paid, then he should, he wouldn't be here. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, he's on his phone, but he's still standing here behind a bar. He'd rather be on his couch or out doing whatever the heck he wants to do. So yeah, I side with this guy. Screw it. I'm glad he quit. What is a potato cake? One of my favorite points of regional contention has been brought to the national stage. We're out of the potato scallops cakes. What? It's like a hash brown? Like a biscuit and a hash brown? That sucks. Where is this at? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I feel like if I had to guess, is it the Red Rooster place? Oh, you guys are getting a high-speed rail, huh? That seems necessary considering every city is like 5,000 kilometers away from the next that's cool that's exciting went to Howard's to buy a kitchen bin <laughs> a kitchen bin that's a that's a nice way of saying a trash can uh almost fainted at the prices all right let's see the prices for a nice kitchen bin 
Seven hundred. <laughs> Seven hundred dollars. It's got to have a. It's got a rectangular voice. What does that mean? It talks to you rectangularly. This thing better have like a built-in trash compactor. I'm not paying seven hundred dollars for a any kind of trash can. I don't care how not, how sweetly it talks to me. Guys, we got an update on the drunken frog, shoey frog, who just sits in there waiting for someone to do a shoey. It moved out of the shoe and now lives in a watering can. Wow, it really blends in there. He's a good looking fellow, frog's house. <laughs> oh, look at him. Uh, he might be stuck. <laughs> right. If you were watching last week, you know about this frog, okay? He lives in a shoe. And he gets drunk. I just learned that the ball kids at the Australian Open don't even get paid. Oof. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I think the idea is that they basically kind of get the experience. First of all, they're stupid kids, so you can trick them into doing work for free. But the reason is they get, like, experience to be around the professional tennis players. You know, I don't know. I would be a, a ball kid for free, to be honest. For maybe, like, one match. But uh, what's going on with your guys' boy, uh, Nick Kyrgios? <laughs> is he playing? Man, that guy's crazy. But when he's playing, I like to watch. <laughs> Found this pristine real estate for only $1.1 Look at that. You got the arched doorway. Ignore the mold up top. Look at that marbled textured walls. Maybe it's even real marble. I think the, the walls are made, made out of marble, like a cathedral. You got a nice exposed brick, a very, you know, low maintenance backyard, no grass to mow. I thought I, I saw last week that home prices are finally coming down. I thought this should not be going for anywhere over 800,000, at least if it was in LA. This must be where in Sydney, Brisbane, Perth, Okay, we've got some new Australian wildlife. Oh, that's a chubby-ass bird. <laughs> I bet he wanted some food, huh? He flew in yesterday, 36 degrees, begging for water. Hmm. He probably just had a big uh, chicken sandwich and needed something to wash it down. It's got cool feathers. Maybe we'll get an update on him next week. The Picture Magazine, a true piece of 90s Australian culture. Cool. I'm a little afraid because it's blurred out. So I've got to confirm my age. <laughs> oh, gosh. There's no nudity here. We're okay. <laughs> Oz's hottest barmaids. <laughs> nice. Nude and rude. <laughs> this horse is kind of out of place. It looks like he's coming out of the photo kind of trying to take a bite. <laughs> So that's peak 90s huh, in Australia. In the days before the internet, the picture magazine was the best way to appreciate the female form. Wow. When the picture magazine closed, a piece of Australia died that day. Wow. Rest in peace. This frog is way too popular. That would be an octopus. Yeah, you can tell by the head up here. That's an octopus. There's a reason it's hanging out in the shower. How, why, how are they twitching together? What is it? How are they perfectly twitching together? What is going on? Because that, what, where's the rest of the body on this one? These are two different spiders, huh? Right? Yeah? Where's the rest of this one? New housemates living in the shed. That's fucked. Holy shit. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh, <gasps> there it is! God, that scared me. <laughs> oh shit. A mommy came out to play. So many of them. Oh, there it is! All right, Mark Rebelet inducted into the Australian culture. Oh god. What are, what are you guys trying to get him to do? What are you saying? <laughs> 
<laughs> That's one w w warm welcome to Oz. Here, have a shoe in the head. Are they trying to get him to do a shoey? Shoe <laughs> <laughs> This one smells all right. Yeah, throw a beer at his head. <laughs> <laughs> Good for him. He caved to the pressure. I did not on my live stream. You guys were trying to get me to do a shoey. Maybe next time. Oh, look at that. Controversial pose. Nick Kyrgios is an embarrassment to Australia. We were just talking about him. <laughs> you cannot make this up. My friend literally just sent me a TikTok just now about Kyrgios. Let's watch. <laughs> He goes for the underhanded serve. Disrespectful. Djokovic hits him with the drop shot. <laughs> Look at that serve. <laughs> you have to say, you have to admit, he's entertaining. There is no denying that. Is he a total jackass? Yes, and that's why we watch. Has KFC gone drastically downhill in quality? Uh, maybe it's just catching up to the quality of the United States, finally. Because if you ever had any semblance of quality from KFC over there, consider yourself lucky. I wish it was quality, because when it when somebody back there makes it good, it's good. But wow, it's a rare occasion, and I have not been back in probably five years. And I think we're going to end this week on this adorable little possum here. It's been saved. Good job, mate. <laughs> I'm sure who's ever trash he roots through next will be thanking you. He is very cute. Very cute. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic Arvo. And I hope to see you here again tomorrow. I don't really know what we're doing tomorrow. Because Hey Hey It's Saturday does not like me reacting to their videos. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to have to figure something out. We'll see. We'll see. But either way, I hope you show up. Maybe subscribe. You know, you don't want to miss it. It's going to be Australia something. And I hope you're there. Goodbye.